It's called Candidate Auris. Yeah, we never heard of it. Some have and some haven't heard of it. Humans get it, yeah. The point is, the deadly fungus isn't going away. If anything, it's spreading at an alarming rate across the U.S., and it's making headlines. Yes, I read an article about it in, the, I don't know, if the New York Times or the Washington Post. A fungus among us. And now it has a lot of people talking, including this dental hygienist. Well, no, it's not, it's not good, but it's tr treatable. I think that is more prevalent in hospitals or nursing homes or, you know, things like that. Infectious disease doctor Ramprasad Gopalan says treating the fungus is what makes the particular species so dangerous. It is drug resistant to the normally used agents, what we normally use for fungal infections. Gopalan says that's why properly identifying and diagnosing the fungus is so important so medical staff can go the extra mile when it comes to treatment. In the hospitals, we have to use uh, really regimens which are not normally used, you know, and even those, it shows resistance. The disease caused by the fungus has a mortality rate of up to 60 percent. Scientists with the CDC say cases tripled between 2020 and 2021 and believe it may be dangerous to people with weakened immune systems. You know, as long as they're healthy, it's not of much concern to them because it doesn't affect them like influenza, COVID, you know, you walk in and you're going to get, you know, this. So it's relegated to immunocompromised, long-term acute care, health care setting. Clinical cases have been tracked in at least 27 states, with Florida seeing 349 clinical cases in 2022. Gopalan says as research continues in more effective treatment, the best thing we can do is... One, to be vigilant. You know, one, to know that it exists, and two, once we identify, to have a proper infection control barrier to mitigate the spread in the facilities, in the place where it is found. Important tips as we continue to monitor the spread. In Palm Beach County, Chris Gilmore, WPTV News Channel 5.